what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're new thanks for coming hope you enjoy the content um, just out for a little evening ride here got a new microphone set up I figured I'd uh, test it out tonight on my ride um, the one I'm testing is the Instamic Pro Mono Edition. Um, I've uh, I've been having quite a few issues with uh, all the microphones that I've been using so far. Um, either they pick up a lot of wind, or there's just some clipping, that kind of thing. Um, and I've just kind of been sort of doing a lot of research the past month or so trying to figure out what the best solution would be um, without spending you know thousands of dollars to do it and uh, this is the conclusion I came to we'll see uh, how it sounds and if I'm regret if I regret that decision or not um, but yeah uh, other than that um, I do have a few um, a few videos planned here coming up. I was just kind of waiting for this to get here and uh, to be able to kind of get it set up the way that it needs to be to get the best sound out of it. So, um, the uh, the next couple videos, I uh, I'm planning on doing a walk around. Uh, sort of kind of going through um, you know what what the bike originally was uh, some of like the more important components to build something like this um, just some of the cool stuff that I've added to it that kind of thing and uh, yeah, um, and then on after that one, I think uh, we're going to do uh, maybe one or two reviews. I'm thinking uh, the first one's probably going to be on my wireless shifter, uh, which is called the X-Shifter. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool setup. It uh, is kind of ideal for all sorts of different scenarios. You can use it uh, on e-bikes like mine, where you want to like I, I reduce the gearing on mine because I have so much power, and I don't really do a whole lot of pedaling, um, other than when I want to exercise, and then I kind of want the the higher gears, so I just left those. Um, but. It's also great for just, you know, if you want a more reliable setup that you have some adjustment and some controllability with, uh, where, you know, you, you have like a traditional derailleur system and you're worrying about it, um, you know, your cassettes wearing, wearing down and your chain stretching and things like that and then getting sloppy shifting sometimes it's just like one or two gears that you have the issue in and all the other ones are fine but you still have to replace everything well in this then you can adjust gears individually by like i think as small as a one millimeter i want to say or even it might even be less it might even be like a tenth of a millimeter or something but i'm pretty sure it was a millimeter anyway um you can do really small adjustments so you can get each one pretty much perfect for whatever you want it to be and uh, it really lets you um, sort of adjust as, as the wearing occurs so you're always getting good shifts no matter you know where you're at it, it ex kind of extends the longevity of all of the uh, components uh, it just it saves wear when you're shifting because it's shifting so perfectly it's doing less damage to things this that's just, just a great setup i'll go over it more in the review obviously um where to get it how to set it up all that kind of stuff um, but yeah um i think what we're gonna do here we're gonna take a little 
adventure this way uh, back here we got some off-road kind of mixed in with the trails so I'm gonna jump in and out of that I think should be fun this trail is uh, not really very well traveled, so it's pretty rough. But I still, I'll still rip around 25 or so. Here's the first one coming up here. about 30 maybe 35 somewhere in that range this kind of just runs along the river for a ways here there's the softer spot there's a stick there And here's our corner. This is normally a pretty decently flowing little creek here, but at the moment it is bone dry and nothing but sand because we're in a bit of a drought right now. This part is kind of the worst for bumps. <laughs> I usually don't go much over 20 on this section. stuff here. And that's the loop right there back to almost where we started. We'll go down, there's another one over here, not too far down, we'll go hit that one too. It's a little more it's a straight shot, but it's a little more dangerous because there's some manholes sticking up, manhole covers sticking up uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere, covered up by 
bushes and stuff and it's really hard to see them but I'm pretty pretty familiar with where they are so we should be good. Just up here and around the corner and we'll be there. How's it going, man? Howdy. Oh, that was fun. All right, now I'm up this super steep hill here. Let's see if we can hold 30. Oh yeah, we're accelerating if we want to. And we'll turn here. This whole kind of stretch now is downhill for a ways. I'd, I'd bomb it, but there's so many trees you can't really see around corners and I hate to plow into somebody at 30, that would not be good. Back to this trail again.
slow down a little bit here, give you guys a little view of the surroundings. We got ourselves a little turtle friend here. What's up, bro? You look like you need some water. Here, go down there. Before somebody freaking smokes you. I'm sure he was probably just trying to catch a little extra warmth, but I'd rather not see him get run over by a bike. If he's really committed, he'll come back, but I kind of think he'll probably just head down to the water because he was pretty close there. A lot of people out tonight. It is a beautiful night. I guess I don't really blame them. I had to make sure there was nobody there before I fully committed to that one. Once again, don't really feel like plowing into somebody at 30, that's not fun. So far we've gone 9.6 miles and we've used about 3.8 volts and uh, 135 degrees, not too bad. See if we can pass these guys on the straightaway. Oh, we gotta slow down for this bump just a little bit. And back on it. Oh, we're gaining on them. About 37. 38. I could probably do, I think 39. Yeah, there's 30 to 40. That's about my top in this gear, I think, because we're right around 40. That's why I usually just leave it in first gear all the time, because when first gear does 40 and 
accelerates the way the first gear does. I don't really think you need much more. If I'm gonna race somebody and I need to get up to top speed, I might shift into second or third, but otherwise there's really no point. It just overheats the motor faster. With this gear, I can kind of do whatever I want. Oh, I did want to apologize also in this video for the uh, the lack of content lately. Uh, between this whole microphone situation and uh, just getting it, trying you know, getting it figured out, I've it's kind of I've I basically have recorded this video about six times and I've just not been happy. Uh, the the video quality has been great every time, but the audio I just cannot get it to cooperate. No matter what microphone, wired, wireless, internal, it just doesn't matter. I just it wasn't none of it was working. So I finally just kind of gave up and said I'm just gonna wait until I get something that's actually worth using. So hopefully this will be that video we shall see all right well guys i appreciate you tuning in hope to see you in the next video if you like what you saw Please feel free to comment, give me a like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned until the next video. See you next time.